we'll come to Avid in a minute, we are doing color correction templates. And when you open up your color grading tool, you will notice that the composer window breaks down into three monitors. The left one is generally the waveform monitor. The right one is the vector scope. And the center, the current one, is representing the clip you are working on. When you use the curves, which is generally the first and simple step, and adjust the contrast and the balance, you will see an icon showing up in the timeline on the clip representing that you just added a color grading. If you manipulate the brightness and darkness with the S-curve and maybe push slightly the red, take away the blue, you come up with a nice brownish Kodak chrome kind of look. So to save this look, you have a couple of options. Option one, drag the icon that is in the color grading into a bin that is going to be your effects bin, as well as holding option and click on the container and from the container drag that icon into the bin. So now you have two of them. They have different names because they came from different places. Uh, the other options are going to effects mode and as if you would do it in other effects, drag the icon that represents the effect into the bin, as well as hold down option, which is Alt and Windows, and drag the icon into the bin, thus you are bringing it with the source that the effect was applied to. So now you have four of these templates. One of them is the really useful one, the one that has the source with it. So if you go back into regular edit mode, you can actually gang the two shots, the source in the left window, and in the record window you have the uncorrected one, so you can actually compare and see what you did. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and come back for some more. Thank you.